Appreciate it. Yes, we're back. Thank you. Welcome to the Nightly Show. I'm Larry Wilmore. Whoo, man, last night was the 87th Annual Academy Awards. What a great show. It really was. It was really good. Man, and I have to be honest with you, I was a little concerned. Oh, because the Oscars were sort of set up to be like a New York City winter, long and white. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. But, you know, seriously, I thought Neil Patrick Harris did a good job acknowledging that. Tonight we honor Hollywood's best and whitest, sorry, brightest. <laughs> See? That's a... Uh, man. That's a pro right there. That is a pro. You acknowledge the awkward racial reality of the evening and you move on. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, what else? Octavia Spencer, no matter what happens tonight, do not take your eyes <laughs> off of the breeze case. Got it? No bathroom breaks. No chit-chat. Hold on a second. Um, you can't make a joke about how white the Oscars are and then turn around and literally make Octavia Spencer the help. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh -uh. Not well done, done, sir. I'm gonna have to take that hat back. <laughs> back on there. Look, now, seriously, these Oscars were so white that when Lonnie Lynn and John Stevens won for best song, they couldn't even use their black names. That's right. Common's real name is Lonnie Lynn. <laughs> Good call on the name change, Lonnie, just saying. <laughs> but the theme of the night was speeches with substance. It's our time to have wage equality once and for all. This bridge transcends race, gender, religion. We are with you. We see you. We love you. That kid out there who feels like she's weird or she's different or she doesn't fit in anywhere, stay weird, stay different. Wow, stay weird. That's right. Very good. Stay weird, stay different. That is a very good message. I like it. Let's see if anyone took that note. But you, you, my darling, my beautiful, my wickedly talented Adina Menzel. You guys. Um, that was, uh, that was hands down the weirdest moment of the night, right? No, seriously, Travolta, to put your hands down. And stay weird, not creepy. It's bizarre. All right, enough about the Oscars. What I really want to talk about tonight are some recent comments made by America's mayor. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, not him. The one with the bigger head. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Uh, now, hold on. Now, last week, while speaking at a fundraiser for Republican presidential hopeful Scott Walker, Giuliani had this to say about presidential actual Barack Obama. Giuliani touched off a firestorm when he said earlier this week, I know this is a horrible thing to say, but I do not believe that the president loves America. He doesn't love you, and he doesn't love me. He doesn't love you. He doesn't love you. Since when does Giuliani get to declare who loves the country? Who put him in charge of country love? <laughs> Isn't that Toby Keith's job? <laughs> or Lonnie Lynn's? <laughs> sir, it was just the most shocking revelation of the night, I'm sorry. But Rudy wasn't done ripping Obama. What else did he say? He wasn't brought up the way you were brought up and I was brought up through love of this country. He wasn't brought up through love of this country, so... That means he was brought up through hate of this country? All right, Mr. President, who hate raised you? I was raised with the help of a white grandfather who survived a depression to serve in Patton's army during World War II, and a wild white grandmother who worked on a bomber assembly line at Fort Leavenworth while he was overseas. Man, W.W. Deuce and factories? Whew. I mean, it doesn't get more I love America than that. Right, unless your grandma made American flags while working in an apple pie factory. <laughs> All right, well, so what else is different about Obama? I, man, I'm... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm... <laughs> no, I'm... I'm really 
really trying my best not to use the race card. <laughs> Getting difficult. <laughs> now, you know what? F that sh that's racist. Uh, it is. It is. All right, that's right. I don't care. I don't care. I use the race card, and you know why? Because, Rudy, when you're trying to explain yourself, you use the 9-11 card. You know, uh, P President Obama didn't live through uh, September 11. I did. The, the president didn't live through September 11th? What, are you saying he was born 13 years ago then? <laughs> Is that why they wanted to see his birth certificate? <laughs> no idea. Oh, so, I guess it's not that he was born in Kenya, it was that he was born in October of 2001, I guess. <laughs> I guess hoping change meant hoping his voice would change by the election. Rudy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rudy. I didn't mean to cut off the defense of your racist statement. Please continue. You know, uh, P President Obama didn't live through uh, September 11. I did. President Obama didn't almost, you know, have a building fall on him. Myself and my police commissioner and my fire commissioner did. Okay. Are you drunk? Because every American lived through 9-11. Not just America, but most of the world came together after that happened. In fact, it was such a powerful, intoxicating event that for a brief shining moment, the entire world forgot what a colossal prick you are. That's, <laughs> that's how big it was. It was huge. It was huge. Okay. Well, now that Giuliani has gotten so much heat, he's backpedaling like a Russian bear in a bicycle at the circus. Uh -huh. He wrote an op-ed saying, My blunt language suggesting that the president doesn't love America notwithstanding, I didn't intend to question President Obama's motives or the content of his heart. Okay, all right, that's okay. It's okay, no, it's fine. And my blunt language regarding Rudy Giuliani's statement notwithstanding still stands. It's f***ing racist. It's okay. Okay, now, Giuliani's uh, biggest beef, even after his feeble attempt at an explanation, was that Obama criticizes America too much. Uh, I don't hear from him what I heard from Harry Truman, what I heard from Bill Clinton, what I heard from Jimmy Carter, which is these wonderful words about what a great country we are, what an exceptional country we are. You're right. He's never said that. America is a place where all things are possible. This nation is great because we built it together. I believe in American exceptionalism with every fiber of my being. Love and charity and duty and patriotism, that's what makes America great. We will continue our journey forward and remind the world just why it is that we live in the greatest nation on earth. Okay, fine. Clap if you must. Obama loves America, just not as much as Giuliani loves 9-11, or, or, or as much as I love that Common's real name is Lonnie Lynn. We'll be right back. Hey, America, follow The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore on Twitter, but don't follow me home. I want followers, but I don't want followers. That's stalking.